when video games are discussed, they're always spoken about as a negative force in your life. Something that's a waste of time, it's holding you back, and you're not achieving anything. But science shows quite the opposite. And in this video, what I want to do is share with you how video games are helping you to achieve things and grow in your life. Let's go. So first, cognition. And there's so many scientific studies to show that cognition actually increases when you play video games. And that doesn't mean just that you're getting better at playing games, but actually gray matter, which is essentially brain tissue increases in your head. And that's huge because it shows that your brain is actually able to take in more information the more games you play. And the result of that excess brain matter is that decision making, problem solving, and attention actually increases. Next, confidence and memory function. And these two attributes have been shown to grow as a result of something called random reward generation, which is present in many games that we play. Essentially, you can do the same task over and over again, and sometimes something happens and you get a reward, and sometimes you don't. What this means for you is that when you're playing that game, your ability to interact within it in a confident and knowledgeable manner increases, which means you're making better decisions. It means that you're able to interact with that game in a more positive way. And from that, risk-taking. And risk-taking is the most important part of achieving anything, being successful and confident. Because if you don't feel comfortable taking risks, then you just stay still. You're not gonna try anything new. When you play a video game, what happens is, is that you're risk-taking all the time. Because you know that you can pick up that controller, give it a go, and there's not gonna be a consequence for your actions. And in fact, you can just do it over and over again until you get so good at it, that it becomes easy. And then you can apply that skill set to something else. What we're talking about now is transferable skills. And a little bonus tip for you is that transferable skills are something which you can put into any area of your life. If you get confident in one thing, you can move that confidence over. Intelligence, again, move over. So many parts of life feel like they're just segregated into little, little points. But if you can learn to use your knowledge, your confidence, and your skill set over many areas of your life, it's gonna help you to achieve anything that you want. So to get back to my list, Next is fear of failure, or rather not fearing failure, because if you've got the confidence and resolve to try something for the first, second, or third time, you know that no matter what, it's just a matter of time before you get it right. And that's the thing about failure, is that we think that once we fail at one thing, that's it, we stopped, there's nothing more we can do. But yeah, if you keep on picking yourself up over and over again, then in the end, you know you'll get it right because you're just eliminating all the ways that don't work. And the last benefit on my list is community. We have the ability to go out and meet people with our same mindset, our same interests, our same points of view, and create something, whether it's defeating an enemy, or building a city, or just having fun with people who share our same values. And that's something which is gonna instill not only your ability to play that game, but also confidence. So can you see how beneficial playing video games can be in your life? However, there is a problem with this list, is that what we found is that these attributes are only consigned to playing video games. And when people take those same confidence, ambition, self-esteem out of that video game sphere, they lose something. They don't have that same ability to transfer those skills over. What I want to help you to do is to use the skills that you're creating in video games in order to level up in other areas of your life. Whether that's a business, finding a partner, making friends, making money, whatever it is that you want. Because there's a wealth of positivity that can come from video games. But if you get locked in that perpetual cycle of just going round and round and round, you'll get really good at playing games, but other things will slip by the wayside. And one of the videos that actually I'm gonna do in the next couple of weeks is talking about why I gave up video games because maybe I shared something with you while playing games, which stopped me from achieving other things in my life. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Watch that video when it comes out. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to see that video and also plenty more to come. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, bye-bye.